Hi guys, I'm Chris Perros with Rose Tree Care here in Mooresville, North Carolina. Today we're going to be uh, felling some little white oaks. Um, All right, guys, we're going to cut the conventional notch. We got our wedges ready, got our axe ready. We're going to be felling the tree this way. Kind of close. I'm going to show you a good way to fell. This is our felling line. It's actually on a steel chainsaw and most chainsaws. It's a felling line. I'll show you how to use that in just one second. Our felling line is going to come here. We always start from this side of the tree. We want to see that line. So when we line this line up, wherever it's going, that's where our tree wants to go. When we start this cut, we're going to go a third in. We, want, we don't want to exceed 80% of the face value. So that means we have 10% on each side left for controlling hinge wood. Traditional notch cut. I'm gonna come around. I'll show you this. We went a little bit lower down into the root or the the flare of the tree. That way we got a little bit more cut, a little, little bit lower to the ground because we're gonna mill this wood. So we want to keep as much wood as possible. That's important before you get too far. You want to make sure that that's lined up. Alright, we're gonna take the saw out. We're gonna place it back here a little ways away from where we're gonna We'll start with the big wedge in the back very back farthest point we want our big wedges in there it gives us our most most push and plus these things are so long that if we try to set them in anywhere else they wouldn't get past the hinge wood so we need to set these in pretty good ways they make all different sizes. well about three or four different sizes of these you can buy at tractor supply southern states uh, there's a lot of different places you can buy them cheryl tree treestuff.com uh, but we're going to take these shorter ones and we want to put them in towards the front. Bigger ones towards the back. Alright, I got three wedges stacked on top of each other. Notice the tree hasn't fell yet. Still too much That's hinge good. wood. So I'm going to have to go back and cut more. Remember, you can always cut more. You can never put it back and cut it again. Make it right the first. Never go too far. cut this back right here so we can see so we can see this in well we cut into our wedge a little bit but that's all right one of the wedges was in the way so I kind of buried it down in there uh, it's called a bore cut just to get it and you can see where all of our hinge wood is. So we run that line just about down even with our face notch. Now notice all these fibers that are pulled up. This is the actual hinge wood that we, we established. And this is what keeps our tree going where it needs to go. If this were to be cut on this side, it would pull more to this side. If it was cut on this side, 
the tree would pull more to that side, meaning the tree would go that way if this side's cut out. Or if you cut through the whole thing and don't leave any, it could go backwards. It could go any way that it really wants to. But that's pretty much it, guys. And, but yeah, felling a tree, 101, man. Y'all have a good day.